Well, folks, as you can see from the video, I'm standing in the tunnel, the Volunteer Park, the home of Armadale Thistle FC, formed in 1935. Although there was a team playing in Armadale from the mid-1800s, there's a snack bar that's been there since the mid-1990s. Got a fine pine bovril out there. There's the blue room. That's where you go if you're a dignitary, you're an opposing committee member, etc. You get treated in there at half time. And here's the volunteer park itself. There's the centre. I always like pointing towards the centre end. The swimming baths over there. Arnold Clark's garage. And a customer car park from Arnold Clark. And the famous grandstand. There's been there's been some to do's in there over the years, I can tell you. Five or six hundred people through the keg on a Scottish Cup day. You just can't whack it. Another story relating back to those days. A few guys standing up there with paper mashy thistles on their heads. <laughs> Beating in the famous colours of the thistle, of course. But I think he's talking like Talbot, the Scottish Cup. There's about 15 people, massive paper mashy thistles on their heads. I know that because I was part of the, the building of the paper mashy thistle head team. <laughs> And the one thing I'll never forget, that day the Ocken Lake captain, Big Sam McCullough, looked into the crowd and just started laughing. That gave him a laugh. I think it gave him a bit of inspiration right enough, because I think they beat the deal that day 2-1. To be fair, Ocken Lake were a team then. They won the Scottish four years in a row. I was unlucky enough to draw them one day, and I played with Stoney one. They got a horse 4-0 going on 15. If it wasn't for their keeper, they'd have taken an off of hiding that day. A bit about the volunteer itself. Got its name mid 1880s, I do believe. The C Company of the 8th Volunteer Battalion of the Royal Scots trained trained here. And a chap called Captain Stewart offered the ground to Armadale Star at the time. It wasn't the thistle back then, it was Armadale Star. Condition that their players joined the reserves. And seemingly nine of them did. Hence the volunteer part was named. A bit of history for you there. Some famous players have played in this park over the years. Colin Steen, Hibs Rangers. Joe Baker. Hibs ended up playing in Torino for a wee while. Joe. John Haggart ended up being the manager of Hearts, my team. Seems as a great stalwart of the deal. That's what it's all about. Once you play with the deal, you're always a deal boy. I can certainly vouch for that. Lucky enough to captain the team. 18, eh, sorry, 18. <laughs> 1989 season. And in fact, they won the league. So there we go. I just wander up the door, check that nobody, nobody's been trying to break in recently. Oh, door secure. This is the view you get when you're coming down. Onto the volunteer park. The hallowed turf of the volley. There you go, there's no football boots today. It's a famous Sambas. But I think we've got a game coming up here, Easter Sunday. Armadale All Stars, or Old Boys, <laughs> myself included in that, are playing against Armadale Thistle of today. A chap called Drew Purdy's testimonial match. He's at half past twelve kickoff on Easter Sunday. So we see this video, and you fancy a bit of fun, come along to the volley, and I'll try and entertain you. And I'll try not to pull any muscles. So, more stories from the volley later on, folks. Catch up with you later.